Hey everybody, welcome once again to Real World Prepper. I am RWP, the Real World Prepper, and I uh, just want to say first of all, thanks for joining me. If you like the content that you find on this channel, I would encourage you to click that subscribe button, the bell notifications as well, so you'll know every time that I upload, like and share this video. Also go over and check out my Patreon which is, uh, there's a link on this, uh, on the banner of my channel. It says, join me on Patreon. It's a dollar a month if you want to support this channel. I'd appreciate it. Today, I want to talk about truth and obfuscation. So, stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Uh, what I'm talking about... Let me start by saying I had made this video the other day. It was an off-the-cuff video I did while riding in my truck, and uh, I just clicked on my phone. I normally use a little GoPro, which I'm using now. Thanks, GoPro. Uh, no, uh, no affiliation there. I just use it. I like it. But uh, I had just had something on my mind, and I spoke to it, and I went back, and for whatever reason, probably because my phone was set on the dash and was picking up a lot of vibration, it did not. It was not going to be postable. So. I went back and re-listened to that video and, and kind of jotted down some notes of some points because it was very off the cuff then, but I wanted to make sure that I covered everything that I touched on in that earlier video. Truth and obfuscation, okay? Lies and integrity, or excuse me, truth and integrity versus lies and immorality. Um, let me start off by telling you guys that what you hear me say on this channel is truthful and what I mean by that is not to say everything I tell you about everything that I might see going on in the world is the truth what it means is that I am truthful about first of all I opine a lot I share a lot of opinions I let you guys know in a truthful manner that they are my opinions if they are um, you can agree with them or disagree with them they may not be right but they are indeed my opinions truthfully but where I where I, where I am coming from where I believe that I'm truthful and with integrity when I present on this channel. It is what I tell you about myself, what I tell you about uh, what I do as a prepper, how I prep and the preps and the, the decisions I make and the things that I do. That is all the truth. How I present myself is truthful. The guy that you see right here, <coughs> pardon, the guy that you see right here talking to you and telling you whatever I've got to say is the guy that you would encounter if you met me in person somewhere randomly okay this is absolutely the truth um, I believe that that is so important truth integrity uh, character these are all a man has okay it doesn't matter how many dollars you have how much money you have how your prestige your toys your friends your influence all of these things matter for nothing if you're not a truthful man with integrity and, and character okay if you're nothing more than a liar and, and wrought with immorality and all of that good stuff, it, it, it just doesn't, or all of that bad stuff, I should say, it doesn't mean anything if, you, if, you're, if you're not truthful with integrity and a man of character. That being said, I'm not a perfect man. I never claimed to be. Um, I have been a pretty awful man in my past, actually. Um, lacking morals, lacking integrity, lacking character. Uh, a liar, you know, uh, involved in immoral things. Uh, spent a lot of years of my adult life that way. Thank God he has delivered me from that um, back in 2005. And uh, I'm, I'm a work in progress ever since, you know, uh, by his grace, by his design, uh, by his mercy. And I thank him every day for that, okay? The Lord. So, uh, again, I'm not perfect, like I say, but the reason I speak to this is because I'm noticing a trend. This trend I'm noticing... Uh, uh, it's kind of twofold, but I'm noticing this in, in, of course, in media, I'm noticing it in politicians, I'm noticing it in people, just all around every day, just the general everyman. Um, and I'm definitely noticing what I'm about to tell you about on this platform, and that is uh, leeches, liars, self-promoters, uh, bandwagon, bandwagoners, uh, coattail riders, and... Uh, Specifically to this platform, I want to speak to it because I see folks that are what I call leeching on to 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 other creator channels that are that are larger channels, more influential channel channels. Whether or not they be right or telling the truth, they're larger. I mean, there's a lot. We all know there's a lot of content providers out there who, uh, you know, 
who well who don't speak the truth, okay, um, or they have an an obfuscated version of the truth that they're trying to present, which is frankly not truth. You know, if you've got to do that, if you've got to pull that trick out of your bag, then you're not being truthful. Um, what these guys are doing when they do that is they're compromising their own message, their own proclaimed positions, uh, their own, uh, you know, what they say they believe about themselves and what they believe about God and what they believe about prepping and what they believe about morality and integrity and character and all of these things. If they've got to, or if they choose to, to glom on to someone else with a bigger following for their own personal gain and have to tweak their message, uh, then they're lacking these character these these character traits that I am describing. Um, I have been approached by other channels, bigger creators, wanting to collab. And you know I do some collaborations with folks, Kansas Prepper, Zombie Farmer. We collaborated with uh, John at Alpha Charlie Concepts recently. I'm in contact with other uh, channel providers, uh, or cre creators rather, YouTube creators. And, and um, I'm not going to associate myself with someone who has a message that goes against what I believe, the truth that I know especially when it comes to God. Now, I'm not going to do it when it comes to, to prepping or, or uh, political agendas or, or anything like that either. You know, if it's something that goes, now I can, look, we can all disagree as preppers that, oh, we think it's important, I think it's important to do, you know, A, B, and C. And you may say, well, I think it's more important to do, you know, D, E, and F first. Whatever, okay. That's not that big a deal to me. But when it comes to saying what you mean and meaning what you say, particularly when it comes to spirituality, particularly when it comes to your own personal relationship with Christ, I have no compromise when it comes to that. Um, I will not compromise myself uh, to further this channel. Look, I, I would like for my channel to grow. I would like for you guys to subscribe. I'd like for you to come over to Patreon. I'd like for you to, to do all of those things and share this stuff. Yes, I would, because I want this message to get out and you know, the little bit of support that I do get from the tiny bit of ad revenue I've received and the little bit of Patreon money that, that, that is moving, and I mean it's little. And you guys who are doing that, I thank you. I thank you so much for that. It means, it really means everything to me. It really does. But this is not why I do it. I do it to spread a message. I was, I was called to do this. Let me, let me, let me get back to my notes real quick. I don't want to miss something here. So, uh, Let's see. So these folks, by compromising their message and their proclaimed positions, they are changing the narrative, their narrative, that they have proclaimed earlier a lot of times to fit into these larger channels' formats, to be one of the boys, one of the guys, if you will. I would say, uh, you know, I am what I am. Like I said before, I am what I am. I am who I am. I am who I present to you that I am. And I hope you guys recognize that. Uh, why I prep what I do, you know, there's other creators, like I say, who are, who are, who I believe are, are like that as well. Watch out for these people who say one thing <coughs> and then turn around and do another, or say another, or say a message and give you a clear-cut version of what they believe, allegedly, and only to go back and to backpedal and to change and tweak to accommodate said platform that they're trying to uh, appease. I was called to spread this message. I didn't ask to come onto YouTube. I didn't want to come onto YouTube. I was told to do so in a very specific way, without hiding, without sugarcoating who I am in Christ. And it was God that called me to do this. I know you know, you got, a lot of you guys are going to think that's crazy, but it's true. This is something that he, he spoke this to me for a long time before I ever started this channel back in January and uh, of this year. I, you know, I, I denied it for a long time. I didn't want it. I was like, no, really? You know, come on. But I, I couldn't ignore him anymore. He said, you got to spread this message. He gave this message to me back in 2011 for me and my family personally, you know, about what I need to be doing, about putting up my stores, about preparing for an uncertain uh, future and one in which 
systems that are currently in place will likely not be in place for me to be able to take care of and provide for me and my family. So that's why I started it. And then he began to tell me to share this message with you guys. And so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. It's uh, about preparedness. It's about preparedness uh, with physical items. It's about preparedness with uh, uh, your spirituality. It's about the truth, okay? Your spiritual preparedness should come first. No doubt about it. Um, I care about you guys watching. I care about being prepared. I care about knowing the truth. I care about having people having integrity in their lives uh, and being men and women of character and substance, okay? Uh, with a lot of agencies, platforms, people actively working and manipulating things such as upcoming elections, previous elections, etc., uh, general perceptions of politicians and people and news, and everything that we get in here, it's all being tweaked. A little word can be used or tweaked uh, to, uh, to obfuscate. And I use that word specifically because, you know, uh, lie by omission is still a lie, in my opinion, and a lie through obfuscation, which is uh, uh, wording things craftily in such a way that, that you withhold some truth or that you essentially lie. These are things that go on in our everyday world, mainstream and otherwise. Politicians to preachers to, I mean, I just hate to say it, but that's, that's how it goes. Um, this is all affecting how we, the people, perceive what's going on in the world uh, as it pertains to news, opinions, again, politics, Christianity, other religions, uh, right and wrong in general. We have to have eyes and ears and hearts of discernment, okay? So we need to be praying for discernment to be able to muddle through all this garbage. If you guys have a check in your spirit about something you're hearing, okay, on any of these YouTube channels or in the news or what your family member says or anybody, anybody, me, even me. If you've got a check in your spirit about it, pray to God about it. Ask Him for the discernment about what you're listening to as to whether or not it's the truth. I, you know, don't take my word for it. Take His word for it, okay? Not mine. This is a fallen world. Uh, the world we're in, uh, this means that you and I, every day... All right, I kind of screwed that up. I can't read my own writing. It is a fallen world again. But what it means is that you and I, every day, we should, if we can touch somebody, if, our, if we have a platform where we can reach people, touch people, send a message to people, uh, we need to be diligent about our integrity, about our truthfulness, and about having character and, and being who we say we're gonna, we are, our truthfulness. Um, pay attention to what goes on in the world. Do not be of the world. Know how to respond. Know what to say. No one to say, hey man, I don't know the answer. I don't have those answers. Uh, I am not a qualified individual to give you answers to that. Don't BS your way through a bunch of garbage just because you want clicks and views or popularity or influence, you know, or money or any of those things, okay? Rely on God and not rely on any of those other things, okay? Don't glom on to anything and everything that you think will advance your personal gain and your personal agenda, okay? Be about God. Cling to Him. He will lead you. He will show you. He will grow you. And He will, he will cause you to flourish, okay? Now, that may not look the way that you would like for it to look with riches and wealth and cars and blah, blah, blah and all that kind of stuff. Not to say He doesn't bless people that way, because He does. But He will give you what you need, and He will show you what you need to be doing, especially regarding prepping, but just in how to live your life in general, okay? So, the reason why this is important, vitally important, is because this is about people's very lives. It's about their physical lives, but more importantly, it is about their spiritual lives. It is about the eternal lives that we have all have yet to live, but we are undoubtedly, without a doubt, going there one day, all of us, to an eternal life. Now, where you choose to spend it is, that decision has to be made right here and now while you're on this planet, okay? And, and in this life. 
That is all I wanted to say today. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. Everybody that is a patron over on uh, Patreon, I appreciate you. I would encourage more of you to do so. It's very helpful. It's a dollar a month, guys, if you want to, you know, you don't have to. It's on YouTube. Come on over to YouTube. But subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Be men and women of character. Be men and women with the truth. Be men and women with the light of God in your lives, okay? Uh, that's all I got. Real World Prepper, and I will see you next time.